Whatever those things are. Audible gas! I'm gonna do that every time now. <clears throat> That's a bit weird after talking for, I think, a total of 45 minutes now. Hooray! I've been talking for a while. Why do I talk so much? Why do I talk? Why am I going insane? Insane's not good either, right? Yeah, it's not good. Oh well, I'll live, probably. Maybe. Doubt it. We'll see. <laughs> oh my god, I am really going insane. Ugh. <sighs> Usually yawn a bit there. I'm also pretty tired, apparently. I could go to all these places and go and grind for stuff. But, I'm going to go do the quest. And grind at the quest area. Yeah, we are probably all insane. Alright, this time I actually remember how the heck to do all this stuff. Because uh, last time... This, uh... Last time I uh, played through this one, I got completely lost in here. Because it is actually pretty hard to figure out your way around this place. But I eventually remembered what to do. Um, and I actually don't remember all the stuff I have to do for this now. Oh god. This is gonna suck. I hate this level so much. Hmm. Alright. So, let's see. If you go up this way... You need to go up that way, I think. You're gonna go up that way, then. And we're gonna see our first wild Digimon. Look at it. It's a little cat with a tail and a metal head thing. It's pretty adorable, actually. Um, but we're gonna completely destroy it. Because why not? Once I get enough of the, uh, like, every time you go and battle something, it gives you a percentage of it scanned. And once you have enough of it, you can then, uh, degenerate it, or you can create it. How long is this game? Um, depending on how much you grind, either really long or decent length. I don't know the exact length of it. Alright, so, at some point, though... I'm going to take these guys, and I'm going to degenerate them down to this. Reason being is you do that, and it gives them more, you know, uh, stats to grow off of. And plus, I don't think I'm going to have this kind of experience yet until I uh, get them degenerated at least once. So Jack's going to be degenerated once again up to, like, level... Probably level 7, actually. That's normally how I do this, is once it gets to the level that I can... Digi that I would technically be able to digivolve into itself, then I'll degenerate it. You probably need to go down to a lower level than that. I don't know at what level you did you go at. 12. Um, this would be the option of letting me decide if I wanted to do the Black War Greymon still, War Garurumon still, or the regular Garurumon online. I think I'm still going to go with the black one, just because it's kind of cooler, I think. Right. And once you get to level 12, I'll degenerate you. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Also, when you uh, degenerate them and then digivolve them back up, you then increase their aptitude, which is their max level they can grow to. Alright, and one of these switches is back here. I know that. Alright, this is the part that confused me because I completely forgot about this area back here. Alright, we got two Digimon now. It's getting stressful. That's uh, Hydro Water, the Toy Agumon Black. Toy Agumons are really cool because they're made entirely of Legos. However, though, this thing's uh, mega evolution is nightmare fuel. So I'm not getting one of those. That's for sure. Ugh. A thing made out of Legos, yes. Um, possibly. I don't know what that means. Alright, Pepper Breath! Hooray! Destroy it, please. Oh, wait, that's right. You guys are really weak right now. So they can't do anything. <laughs> Boosh. See? They're so weak. They can't do anything right now. That's why I needed to degenerate them and then digivolve them again so they're still strong. Hello, Miss Rosachan. Miss Rosachan? Miss Rosachan? Hello, person. Glad to have an extra person on the stream. And glad there's somebody else who actually enjoys this game. I do really love this game. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> it's like using a uh, Death Star to destroy a butterfly. I mean, I feel like uh, when the Death Star blew up Eldoran, right, that's the name of the play, the thing, 
Princess Leia's a uh, place. It probably did blow up a couple of butterflies, honestly. At least a few, right? Yeah, so I mean, you, you use the Death Star to destroy some butterflies, honestly. Ooh. These things are pretty cool. Kodamons. Um, but the only Digimon I actually want from here is probably actually the uh, little cap with the little cap ball thing. Because it's actually, it has a long evolu digivolution line, and it turns into this, it turns into something else you find. And, yeah, there's a lot of things you can actually do with it. Which is why I want one, because they're pretty useful with all the things it can turn into. <clears throat> However, though, these... Well, Kodamon is one of the options, but I probably won't go with that, because I have a good idea of what its line goes to. I just can't remember it all. Yeah. Yeah, a few, probably. Betamon, the fish Digimon. And that's another one that the cat turns into. The, uh, the, uh, gear thing. Why does it turn into a gear? I don't know. This game confuses me more than it actually makes sense. Honestly. But, you know, who cares? Plus, that's another thing I like about this, compared to a Pokemon or something. Is that the evolution lines don't have to make any sense, and they won't make any sense. Ever. As in this thing can turn- as, you know, this thing can turn into a giant skull dragon. I mean, that sort of makes sense, but some- but it also sort of doesn't. And that's, like, one of the things I love about this game. It's just- it doesn't- evolution doesn't have to make sense, like in Pokemon. I can turn a cat into a giant destro destructive clock. That- that's what happens. Stuff like that. And it's just awesome, because <laughs> it's just cool. Also, because every single Digimon doesn't have to- Digimon don't only have, like, one evolution line. There's separate lines you can go down from every trainee Digimon that leads it to something even, like, cooler than what you're currently at. Like, my, uh... Which one is it? Sirius? Yeah, Sirius. I mean, he can become, you know, the regular Garurumon, which is, in itself, like, one of the essences of badass. Or he can turn into, uh, Black War Garurumon. Or the Dark Room online, which is in itself just really cool looking. Yeah, that's basically the logic of it. Oh, if I get the chance to, I need to show you need to show you the uh, one of the weirdest evolutions here. You can get something called a uh, Whalemon, which is literally a whale, and it turns into a little tiny fairy, and it is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, 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 the crack needle. Oh god. A uh, friend of mine. Talking about whale plus a what? Whale plus a cat. Yeah, no, the whale and the angel is still the weirdest thing. Trust me. On this one. It's just so strange of an evolution line, but I love it anyways. And I've used it before, and the angel thing is actually really damn strong. It's the sad thing about it. Alright. Oh, I could, uh, you know what? Screw it. I don't need to degenerate them yet. I'll degenerate them later. I'm gonna go get that item down there. Items are good to have. Very good to have, in fact. There's another kitty. It's just great because the kitties die from, like, one shot, which is very convenient. And then you don't have to put in too much effort to kill them. When you put in too much effort to just grind through, uh, levels and stuff. I don't think, you know, they illegally call it Crack Needle. Like, Hood, maybe, but... It's probably a few better names for it than Crack Needle, honestly. But yeah, no, it is definitely a, a needle of some sort, and it is pretty, pretty funny. <sighs> Alright, resuming all of our stuff that we're doing. What was I doing again? We learned Gatling Punch. Damn, I need these people to learn Gatling Punch. Gatling Punch is a really good uh, early game move, as it does two attacks, but both of them are like, you know, strength of, like, Hydro Water here. So, they're really good for just taking stuff out pretty easily. Especially with the single target, because you can double punch them, and then they pretty much just die from that.
However, though, none of my guys have seemed to learn, uh, learn that yet, which I'm fairly sad about. It's just a really useful move to have early game. Oh, don't want to use that. I want to use Dark Crusher. I'm using Dark Crusher just because. <laughs> uh, Diancy is just... Or Diana. Sorry. I was thinking Pokemon for a second. Diana is actually just level, like, 20 right now, which is really high in comparison to all my other Digimon. So, she's just really strong right now. And she can easily just destroy everything. Alright. Let's do something. Let's see. We're gonna do the uh, degeneration thing, I think, real quick. Maybe. Nah, you know what? We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We'll just wait a while. I guess that's one way to solve your problems. Mm. Alright, we got things going on here. Very important things. Alright, let's take out the Comporium first. Oh god, lag. Yeah, I know this game isn't running like at perfect 100% speed right now just because I'm using, uh, just because trying to stream it and record it and play it at the same time is just a bit laggy on my, uh, you know, pathetic laptop here. But, uh, you know, it's working fine enough, I think, which is good. Plus, you don't really notice it as much on the stream, I think. If you're actually playing it, you notice it a lot. But, uh, stream-wise, it's not as bad, I guess. It looks pretty good. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job of actually playing this game. Oh, you do have Gatling Punch already. Awesome. Might have just actually gotten that. Yeah, that's what Gatling Punch is. It's a two-hit thing, but it's pretty strong. Mm, the Needle could have that. That's indeed what the Needle could have. That would be uh, pretty scary, though, honestly. Uh, I would rather not have a Flood. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see. Venturing out some more. <clears throat> uh, love watching other people in the chat having fun. It's good to know I don't have to be 100% of the entertainment in this. Alright, so I think I'm going to get serious up to level 10, and then I'll degenerate him down to a uh, little tiny puffball thing, which is really adorable. It's very adorable. Um, let's see, this way... Also, there's a thing. Alright. You can actually, like, click the screen, you can drag around and stuff to see everything. Yeah, it's supposed to be more so, like, a, a vampire sort of demi-dark uh, kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. There's a bunch of other Digimon that can get the move, I believe. Mm, demi Debimon, I'm pretty sure does. Which is actually supposed to be a bit vampire bat, so... Yeah. Interesting things. Let's see. So, that's taken care of. Let's venture on even farther. I want to get this item, and then I'm probably going to head back real quick so I can heal up. Uh, heal up Diana, because she's kind of running low on mana, or MP, or whatever the actual proper term for that stuff is. I don't remember. That's probably how it works. But we'll go with that's how it works. Mainly because I have no way to argue with your logic right now, so... Sure, that, that's exactly how this stuff works. We'll just go with that. God. Alright, um, you use Pepper Breath, and then I'll just hit it with the Hydro Water, and that should take it out again. And then I'm gonna go uh, run back home. You crave that mineral? I crave that mineral. God, that's been an internet thing for <sighs> so long. Or for like a few weeks now. It's honestly kind of annoying actually, but it's still funny every time I see the stuff for it. <laughs> 